Hello, and welcome to another episode of Kayla's Brain on Drugs. Have you ever heard a drug commercial say, don't eat grapefruits or drink grapefruit juice while taking this medication? Many drugs have dangerous interactions with grapefruits and grapefruit juice. Today's episode will explore this grapefruit drug interaction. First, we will discuss the chemicals found in grapefruits that cause the drug interaction. Furanocumarin is a phytochemical that is found in many plants. It is used as a defense mechanism against mammals and insects. Aside from the interaction between grapefruits and drugs, another effect is dermatitis from wild parsnips. This is caused by the furanocumarin found in these plants. There are two types of furanocumarins that are found in grapefruits. The first type, bergamotin, chemical formula C21H22O4, was originally purified from bergamot oranges, another type of citrus fruit. The second type is related to bergamotin. Its name is 6,7-dihydroxybergamotin, and the chemical formula is C21H24O6. Now that we know that there is organic chemistry at work in our citrus fruit, we need to look at how these chemicals cause the harmful drug grapefruit juice interaction. In the body, drug breakdown occurs in the wall of the intestine. There is an enzyme that is found in the cell membrane of the cells that make up the wall of the intestine called cytochrome CYP450 3A4. This enzyme is a hemoprotein. This means that the protein has a heme group with an iron atom near its active site. The active site of an enzyme is, lo is the location where substrate is acted upon. When foreign chemicals are found, they are pulled into the active site of the enzyme where, with the help of the heme group, oxygen molecules are added. This oxygenation makes the chemicals more soluble and therefore easier for removal by the body. Therefore, cytochrome CYP450-3A4 acts as the first line of defense against chemicals in the body. This includes drugs and medicines. Furanocumarins, like bergamotin and 6,7-dihydroxybergamotin, found in grapefruits, inhibit the cytochrome CYP450-3A4 enzyme. They do this through mechanism-based inhibition. This means that the furanocumarin molecules modify the active site of the cytochrome CYP450-3A4 enzyme so that the enzyme can no longer function. This modification of the active site is irreversible, so a new enzyme must be synthesized to restore activity. The results of this can be very disastrous. Overall, grapefruits and grapefruit juice increase drug potency. Because the chemicals found in grapefruits inhibit the molecule that breaks down drugs, drugs taken in the same time period as grapefruits are not broken down. This increases the blood level of the drugs taken. High levels of drugs in the blood mean the chance of an overdose and toxic side effects. Since furanocumarins irreversibly inhibit the cytochrome CYP450-3A4 enzyme, the effects of grapefruit and grapefruit juice may last well over 24 hours. There are many drugs that have serious and moderate interactions with grapefruits. An example of some of these drugs can be seen on the slide here. Some of the categories of these drugs include antiarrhythmics, antihistamines, blood pressure medications, cholesterol drugs, HIV medications, immune suppressants, impotence drugs, intestinal drugs, pain medications, and psychiatric drugs. Always ask your pharmacist or doctor when taking a new medication for possible interactions with any kind of food or drink or other drugs you may be taking. As tasty as grapefruit is, it may cause some serious problems when it comes to drugs and medications. Knowing the science behind things you do every day helps you understand what's going on around you. But knowing the science behind the drugs you take helps you understand what's going on inside you.